What's up guys, today we're going to be finishing off the two-part series of how to measure your car for fitment. I'm going to show you how to calculate back spacing and offset so you can figure out what wheels will fit your car the best. Now before we get started, I want to talk to you about wheel width. So if you remember from the demonstration before, we have an 8 inch OEM wheel and we want to add 1 inch on the inboard side and 1.5 and inches on the outboard side. So you'll get this calculation below, you just add those all together and you'll have 10.5 inch wheel is the, the wheel width. Now one thing that that doesn't necessarily cover is the thickness of the flange. So on either side of the wheel, just bear with me here, on either side of the wheel where the tire mounts, there's a flange and the approximate thickness of that is about half inch on each side. So if you were to designate basically what a total wheel width would be, if I were to go grab a wheel right now and check it out, the total wheel width would include those flange thicknesses and that would be approximately one inch. So therefore, if you have a wheel that you have on the floor over there and you measure the overall width, subtract one inch and that is the spec that's gonna be listed on the part listing or something like that for sale. So just keep that in mind. So you see that wheel here is 10 and a half inches wide, which is 266.7 millimeters. And if you add the flange thickness, it basically increases to 292.1 millimeters, including the flange. So keep that in mind as we move over to the next process. So now let's talk about backspacing. Backspacing is the dimension from the back of the wheel to the mounting surface, as you can see right here in this picture. Offset is the dimension from the center of the wheel to the mounting surface. And if it's on the right hand side towards the face, that's a positive offset. And if it's on the left hand side, it's gonna be a negative offset. I'm gonna put a link uh, in the description below and a card to check out a full video on what is negative, what is positive offset, and how to calculate those. But for this video, let's keep moving forward. So we're gonna talk about how to calculate backspacing. The formula for backspacing is one half of the total width plus the offset. So now let's talk about backspacing for the OEM wheel. The formula for that is one half the total width plus the offset. So the total width of the OEM wheel is nine inches or 228.6 millimeters. You divide that by two and add the offset of the wheel. So our total value there is 164 millimeters approximately. Now, we want to increase the width of this wheel by 25 millimeters. So what we're going to do is take the back spacing from the OEM wheel, add the dimension that we want to change it by, which is basically one inch or 25.4 millimeters, and we're going to get around 189 millimeters. So that's our new back spacing. Now that value is very important, so be sure to keep note of that. The last and final step is to calculate the offset. The formula for offset is to take the back spacing and subtract the total width divided by two. So for our example, the back spacing is 189.3 and I want to subtract the total width, 292.1 millimeters, divided by two. The result of that gives you approximately 43 millimeters and that is our new offset. So for TJ's Mazda RX-7, the rear fitment is going to be 10 and a half inch width plus 43 millimeter offset. All right guys, if you like what you saw in this video or if you have any questions about how to calculate width, offset, backspacing, please drop a line in the comments. And as always, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.